Welcome to Mayor Show, I'm Mo. Ah, Mayors. Seems like a hugely long off season. Well, I was off the show for a while, too. You were off the show. We didn't think you were going to be back. Guess what? We all persevered. We're back with Mo Mears. We're going to do the fantasy football edition. We're going to start with quarterbacks, and we're going to give our insight on who to pick because you finished last in your league last year, and I finished last in my league. I won last year. I lost. I finished last. <laughs> Everything we do on this show is uniform. So for every position that matters, we're going to do two picks that we think you should take and a sleeper. Exactly. We're going to start with quarterbacks. Let's start with quarterbacks. I've got my top two quarterbacks. Okay. Number one is going to be Peyton Manning. Number two, Aaron Rodgers. Let me tell you why. Denver has the second easiest strength of schedule this year. Okay. So Peyton Manning, with the addition of Wells Walker, I just think he's going to be fucking throwing the ball all over the place. Plus, the running back situation is a little weak. Okay. And then Aaron Rodgers is Aaron Rodgers, so you take him number two. All right. And you got a sleeper? My sleeper this year, Carson Palmer. He's going to be throwing to Larry Fitzgerald. That is the first time Larry Fitzgerald's ever had a quarterback. I think he's <laughs> actually going to do well. As, as horrible as he was in Oakland, I think he'll do well in Arizona. Well, it's, uh, it's not hard to do better than anybody's ever done in Oakland. That's true. Um, I'm going to stay off of Peyton Manning this year as the top two because there's a lot of expectations on Denver and there's a lot of pressure on him. His defense has taken some hits. They lost their outside rushers. So I, I think maybe he's not in the top two. He's not a bad pick if he's there at six. Take him right. as far as quarterbacks. But my, my, my best is Drew Brees. I mean, the guy just throws the ball all around. I mean, you, you got a, your coach back. Last year yeah. was, was a tough season because you had a lot of stuff going on. Still set some records. I mean, your coach had to come in and, like, a bubble in order to watch you do a, <laughs> a break a record and then had to leave in the same bubble. So let's go with him as number one. Number two, I can't argue with Aaron Rodgers. He is Aaron Rodgers. I, I think you'll see in our prediction show, I got I, I have huge expectations for Green Bay. And my sleeper pick is Tom Brady because that guy sucks. And nobody's going to want to take him. But I think if, he, if you can get him as like the 12th quarterback in the draft, Tom Brady's the fucking way to go. Next big position wide receiver. You have two guys in a sleeper. I have two guys in a sleeper. Why don't you go first? The number one guy, I think, without a doubt, in anybody's eyes, is going to be Calvin Johnson. The dude is a beast. I mean, they nicknamed him Megatron, for Christ's sake. Not only that, but we all know that Stafford likes to chuck the ball around. And you added Reggie Bush as an option on offense. So I think that's really going to help Calvin Johnson with his receptions and his touchdowns. My second pick is going to be Des Bryant. I think this is going to, even though he has off the field issues and he beats his mom or whatever, I think he's going to have a, a real breakout season this year. Tony Romo is going to throw him the ball a lot. Um, interesting point. Why, uh, Dallas has the easiest strength of schedule for the wide, rece wide receiver position this year, preseason. Wow, they do that stat? Yeah, I found it and I was like, I'm, I'm marking that one down. Sleeper. My sleeper, I'm going with the Arizona connection. Uh, Carson Palmer is my quarterback. Now I'm going Michael Floyd as my sleeper because he's the number two receiver behind Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald's going to see double coverage all the time. And Michael Floyd is 6'2", 220. I think he has the ability to have a huge season this year. So if you can get Michael Floyd in the late rounds, take him. I love the argument that Larry Fitzgerald's going to see double coverage all year. And all of a sudden he's going to be made ineffective. Carson Palmer's going to be the third coming of Joe Montana after the shit that's been thrown at him. They had a guy last year that was thrown to him that I beat in high school. <laughs> I beat him in high school. That was the only game I ever won. All right, so I'm going with Larry Fitzgerald as one of my top two because he's just going to be reborn with a guy with a fucking arm. They asked a question on ESPN this week. It was awesome. It was like, is Tim Tebow really left-handed? <laughs> yeah, I saw that. That's the question that Larry Fitzgerald should have been asking his quarterbacks for the last six fucking years. That, since Kurt Warner left at the age of 63, <laughs> he hasn't had somebody with the ability to move the ball five yards past. It's like when I blew my shoulder out and I couldn't throw a baseball to anybody or a football or anything. I, it's, it was awful. Larry Fitzgerald, I got number one. My second pick, Andre Johnson from the Texans. The guy's huge. He is big. And there, this is this is this is getting to the point with the Texans. It's like. Matt Schwab or Schaub or whatever the fuck his name is. I mean, that's how memorable this fucking guy is. I mean, you could not put a more benign, non-threatening quarterback on a that's team true. that's in a position to win a Super Bowl. And everybody's like, well, maybe maybe Schwab will do it. Like, I, I don't know. That's what I'm calling him all fucking year, Schwab. But I, I think they're going to have a big year. My sleeper pick is Megatron because they're going to have eight guys on him just like he's a transformer walking down the street. That's the only way you're going to cover him. So you're just going to run the ball all day long because it's just going to be a jailbreak. You got to take the eight guys off the transformer and then go tackle that guy. You're never going to throw it to him on your theory. So they're my picks. 
The third and final position we're going to do, because we don't care about kickers and defenses, because you, you end up getting what you get, and yeah, everything you get happens the way it happens. Running back. What, running are we doing, back. what are we doing at running back? I don't think anybody can argue that the number one running back in the league is Adrian Peterson. He was, what, seven feet from breaking the all-time record last year in yards? Um, unbelievable season. He's a freak of nature. Comes back off a knee injury. Fully healthy this year. Added Greg Jennings on that on that offense. That's just another weapon for uh, whatever that quarterback's name is. What's his name again? Uh, Ponder. 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 Christian. Ponder. What his name is? The Christian Ponder. Um, so I think Peterson's going to have a huge season. Number two, LaShawn McCoy. This offense for the Eagles, even though I think the Eagles are not going to be good this year, from a record for our prediction show. I think that uh, their offense is going to be interesting, and the fact that they're going to run the ball a lot and McCoy in the preseason has been shredding defenses. I think he's going to have a monster breakout season this year, so I'm putting him at number two with my sleeper being Daryl Richardson from the St. Louis Rams. Most people don't know who he is, and when you watch a St. Louis game, you're just going to assume that Steven Jackson's running the ball because the dude is Steven Jackson's twin fucking brother. But he did average 4.8 yards per carry on 100 carries last year as a rookie, and he's going to have the full workload. So I I think Daryl Richardson is a good sleeper pick. I'm a big believer in the sophomore jinx. Okay. And Doug Martin's in position for that. However, at the end of last year, it seems like he kind of went through it in the same year. He tailed off. I like him this year. I like him above Adrian Peterson. Wow. Adrian Peterson's just too much of a lock for everybody. And they've, they've always been, like, when Barry Sanders was a lock, I took him as a keeper. And you know what? He retired. <laughs> Marshawn Lynch is a beast. Beast mode, that whole thing. That's a real thing. Dude, he's insane. That is a real thing. And I, I would take him second over that. Adrian Peterson, maybe you can take him third, but I got a sleeper. Okay. Ben Jarvis Greenhouse, because he's got four fucking names. <laughs> it, it's like you can't even fill him out in your little box of the, the fantasy deal. I love it. <laughs> I'm just going to take that guy. I mean, I know he's playing because I saw him somewhere. Cincinnati. Yeah, I saw him on Hard Knocks. Yeah. That's what it was. And I was like, you know what? I love that guy. It's, it's four names. It is four And names. they're all kind of like short. It's just so catchy. Nice. I take him as a sleeper. So that's it. That's all you need. You follow our advice. If you could get in a category, one, two, and our sleeper. Oh my God. We guarantee it. Yeah, you'd win. We'll pay your league fee if you don't win. Yes, exactly. Um, side note: hashtag PS. No. <laughs> <laughs>